Okay, uh, I've just come into work this morning and I'm checking up on our two meters that have been trying to get going. Now I just hovered the mouse over the database and you can see here 22nd of 9th, 2014, 9.39 a.m. And that's pretty much lining up with what the current, well, the current dates are saying and the time's pretty much close. It's only out by five minutes because this database is um, in five minute packets. That's how, how small I've set it. This one is still on the largest data size. Now, note that it's showing the newest data 2080. I believe that's just an error. Obviously, it's an error. And I'll just explain why. If you uh, right click on Open with FTP, that'll open up an address in a web browser, whatever web browser you've got open or set as the standard. Uh, you copy that web browser address and you can use either Windows Explorer uh, that will allow you to access the folder structure on the CF card, or you can um, uh, copy that address into a FTP um, software like this one. Now, I found that CyberDuck was pretty reliable. I found the Windows Explorer worked sometimes, and other times it didn't work. So basically, you can go open and create a new bookmark, and you just basically paste the details in there and you need to put your password in so you can access these folders. Now, if you look at the folder structure for this black box unit, you can see here 20802242. Now, it's kind of interesting because if you look at the extension, we've got 237, 238, 239, 240, 241, 243, and then down here is 242. And the reason why it's out of order is because of the instead of showing 2014, it's showing 2080. So I think for some reason, the black box put the incorrect year in there. Uh, that may be fixable. Uh, alternatively, I could just wipe the CF card and start all over again, which I'm not going to bother with doing now uh, because I'm only interested in data from now on. I'm just going to ignore that 2080 data, data file. Um, now, just back onto uh, how I solved this problem. I was getting, basically, I don't know if you're, you've been following my videos, but I was finding that it was not... Uh, showing the latest data when I highlighted over the database. The way I fixed that was I'd open in web browser and I put in the administration access code for the, the for the unit. And basically, I did I did everything. I made sure the firmware up start, updated. I deleted the, the CF card, all the data off that, and then I reset everything. I reset all the meters, and I finally I reset the unit. I think maybe resetting the unit is what fixed it. But I did all those things, and I also uh, set the data file size to five minutes because I wanted to know right away whether it was working successful or not. I didn't want to have to wait one to two hours before I found out whether it was working. And as you can see, I finally achieved success. So this is the information that I was hunting for for weeks and weeks and weeks, and now I have finally stumbled across it and figured it out. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for their contributions and helping me get to this point. And I'm, I'm eager to share this information with anybody who may, be, may ever get stuck on this themselves. Uh, I just want to add one other final note here. Um, when I go to LSPEC Investigator, you can see here I've ticked hourly energy measurement because that's what our research happens to be interested in. Um, if I tick on, uh, let me see, waveforms, and I'll just go down here to the other one. Refresh. Now, this is basically just over, is is for today, uh, 22nd, which is not today, oh, yeah, today's date, and just over a few seconds. Now, if I uh, zoom back out again so I can append back one hour, maybe one more hour. So we should see what I'm actually looking for is some sine waves, which I'm not getting right now. I think I may have picked waveform voltages. Oh. 
Ah, okay, here we go. So this is what I was looking for. Now, these are our waveforms. You can see this energy is going up and down, but it's very, very low because there's no actual load on this right now. There seems to be a load on this one. I think I might have a lamp plugged into this one. But there's no load on this one, and so it's just noise. Um, we're just going to ignore it. Now, if I just zoom back in to this, I should eventually see that uh, sine wave. If I don't, I'm just going to finish this video up. There we go. This is what I was looking for. I'm looking for the sine wave. So here's our two AC waveforms alternating along nicely. Now, bear in mind, um, I've added a GPS unit to both of these. So if we lose power or whatever, we're not going to get this loss of time stamp, date stamp issues that we had before. Um, so that is a summary of where we stand. Um, I'm going to adjust the uh, data size to five minutes for the 10268. So it's the same as 10267. And then I'm going to take both units out into the uh, shipping containers for energy measurement. So big success, finally all done.